Here's another in my long line of Samoa inspired desserts. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello, everyone. First thing we're going to do is make the base, starting off with a large bowl and four eggs. And I'm using a stand mixer because you have to beat these for eight minutes. So if you're using a handheld mixer, that's a long time. So while that's beating, you're going to place one cup of smooth peanut butter in the microwave for about a minute and heat it until it's liquidy, just like this. And as you can see, the eggs have become very light and have tripled in volume. And then you're gonna slowly drizzle in that hot peanut butter into the eggs and do it slowly because we don't want to make scrambled eggs in the bowl. Once the peanut butter is all in, allow it to blend for about a minute or so until well combined. And don't forget to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Now prepare a baking dish, an eight by eight inch or an eight by 10 inch baking dish. I lined mine with aluminum foil and greased the foil. It's just easier to get the bars out. Spread it around. And then sprinkle three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips over the top, I use semi-sweet. And now we're gonna make the caramel layer. In a medium-sized saucepan, place one stick of butter or half a cup, 14 ounces of caramels unwrapped, and a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And you're gonna heat this over medium-low heat until everything is melted and smooth. And this takes a few minutes, so be patient. And once it's nice and smooth, it is ready. Now this makes a lot of caramel sauce. You're not gonna need this all for your recipe. Take one cup of that and pour it on top of the semi-sweet chocolate chip layer. And the rest of the caramel, you can just store it in the refrigerator and use it for other desserts or even just on top of ice cream. Then sprinkle on one cup of sweetened shredded coconut. Then bake it at 350 degrees, 25 to 30 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes up with a few crumbs. Now, those instructions are a little hard to follow. Uh, this is going to puff up like a souffle, like the edges are going to go really, really high. And when you stick a toothpick in the center, it doesn't really ever come out really clean because of that caramel layer. So I baked it for about 35, 40 minutes just to try to make sure that center was cooked. And there they are. Now that base layer is what turns me off with these. This base layer has no sugar in it. So it's very kind of custardy and eggy. Uh, you do have the great caramel and chocolate on the top, which kind of makes up for the lack of sweetness in the crust. But overall, it is not something I will make again. My family ate it for dessert, but you know what? They, they weren't certainly weren't raving over it. So this may appeal to you because it is gluten-free if you can't eat flour. This might be a good one for you to try. It's good, it's just not super good. Now, this might be the last of my ongoing Samoa saga. I have some other great desserts. I think that if you're gonna try one, try one of these instead. I have a great Samoa ice cream cake. I have Samoa bites, which are out of this world. And I also have these Samoa brownies, which are equally delicious. So if you wanna see any of these videos, go ahead and click right on your screen or look for the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.